If all of the kings had their queens on the throne, we would pop champagne and raise our toes to all of the queens who are fighting alone. Baby, you're not dancing on your own. Can live without me. You wanna, but you get na na na. Think it's funny, but honey, can't run this show on your own. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Yes. The inconsistent queen is back. It's my birthday month and I love this hair. Um, and I'm vibing with this cape. Or I'm just having a bad hair day. Who knows? But yes, welcome back. I love you. And yeah, so how have you been? I hope you've been good. I have been I've been here and there. But yeah. I have a new phone because my baby lost the other one. He threw it from the balcony. Oh, the struggle. The struggle. <laughs> the struggle of being a mom. Anyway, so he lost my phone and I, I thought. So as I said, my baby lost my phone and he threw it from uh, my balcony and I think someone picked it up like it was painful but what can you do he doesn't even know what he's doing that was a painful part <laughs> and then my economy but anyway I have a phone right now it's an improper phone I just jammed it up with the struggle, the struggle of being a mom is real. If I'm not ready for these things, boom is up to side. Yeah. Anyway, uh, coming to think about the phone, I thought of all the phones I have ever lost. This was actually the longest phone I'd kept. Uh, that was the longest time I had kept a phone. It had stayed for two to three years. It's actually older than him. Yeah. And uh, to think of, I started thinking, let me share of all the ways I've been scammed or at my theft experiences in Nairobi. And you could also comment and share. Your experiences in Nairobi, how you've lost phones of or property, or just how you've been scammed generally. Mm. So this the this video is dedicated to my son for losing <laughs> my phone and reminding me of all the pain I felt when I lost the other phones. Um, yeah. Um, the first way I've lost my phone in Nairobi is um, my phone being snatched like you're just walking it's funny a cool kid in Nairobi and you're holding your phone Jesus! No be juju be that! Papa, me to give a cucumber Waka from Transamadi To a leg man, you can get on the locomba And someone snatches it That is so painful because people just stare at you like we should sometimes do nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. That that was like uh one of my first experiences of losing a phone. It got snatched in Nairobi. I can't remember which make of a phone it was, but I lost a phone through snatching. That was my first experience because I have many. Um, yeah. My second experience. Uh, the second experience is my back being cut off by a user. I don't know if my phone was showing or something. Yeah. They cut my bag off. With a razor and saw my phone. Actually, I was told by a passerby, so to go to the circus in me, me, me. I 
situation Nairobi people will never help you Ooh, keep doing it Nalera Maisha yeah, so that was my second experience. My bag being cut off by a razor just to see my phone. Mm. The measures they go through. That was my second time. It was also painful. I mean... Pain! I am in severe pain! Huh? Eventually. Pain! I am in severe bed. Huh? Eventually. Mm, these people who walk around with envelopes. I told you I'm embarrassed. And then Apple Jew will make a, a hundred balls. Inside the envelope is usually stuffed with newspapers. That's <laughs> 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 So they work with envelopes and then inside one of they fill it with new newspapers and then these envelopes usually have like a clear space inside there so they put a hundred on top so they come start talking to you about oh as uh, dream uh oh no someone comes in front of in front of you and then throws it so you see you you'll you'll see money and then you'll be curious and you'll want to know so as you go to pick it Someone will come to you at your oh, okay, we got a pesa. Let's go share. <laughs> so they are talking to you, and then you're curious, you know, you'll stand. Kumbe, there's someone at the back who's for right you. And they're like, we're gonna have half. Nini, nini. So that's what happened to me. Now, I want to do business. Business. Yes. You don't want to go to school. No, I don't want to go to school. Mm. I want to do business so that I will start making money as soon as possible. I know, but I did business. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> this is business. Hey. I invested the money. Stop talking. I will kill you. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Hey, Dada. Hey. Why? Uh, so you stand there and you start imagining how much money can be in the envelope. There's someone behind you stealing already. I'm embarrassed. And then I don't stand in Nairobi. I'm traumatized with Nairobi. I just don't stand. This is where you see so many girls working with their bags in front of them. They've gone through what I've gone through. Hey, you just don't work. You, you need to be super alert of your environment. So then, that's my third experience of theft in a robbery. Uh, the fourth experience is when you're in a matatu and you're seated at the, at the windows. And then you just start chatting. I don't know how these people see you. Someone said it's the reflection of the phone, like the light, and your phone goes just like that. Someone just grabs your phone from the window, and you're like, Mama, <laughs> what I call your mama, and your answer fast. It goes like that. And what can you do? And, and they 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 usually wait when the, the car is almost Ma! moving. So, Utashuka Sangapi, Tamkimbiza Sangapi. And then the people seated um, in the car, they start talking about you, start laughing. Hey, they start mocking you. You feel so bad. I don't know. Yeah, so that's my third experience. The fifth experience is always be vigilant when you're crossing the road. 
especially in a busy street in Nairobi because some people who are crossing the road are thieves. They're not crossing, they just when it comes squeeze you like they pickpocket you and they steal things from you. So that's something that happened to me as I was crossing the road and I was carrying I was carrying a handbag, it was on my hand and then we were like three ladies, one here, one in front of me, one at the side. And then you're crossing, you know your 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 concentration is on the cars because you know like when the the road is busy your concentration won't be on the bag it will be on the cars so as you're crossing maybe there's someone opening the zipper and checking for things or stealing so that's what happened yeah that's what happened so this woman he she had a bandana on the head a red bandana i can't forget her and then she had scars so she caught my my attention not because I thought it, she was a thief, but because she had so many scars on the face. So I just looked at her and then yeah, continue checking for cars. So as we were moving, I felt like my bag was being in a in a delay no my it was being trapped behind. So I checked and this woman it's like she noticed that no one at us when we noticed Ameiba, she had picked my phone and then she started walking at a caraca hey my mind with all the trauma and all the experience i was like um to me beer so i looked at her straight at her where she was going and then started checking my phone in the bag like with my hands since i had used the phone like five minutes before i knew the phone had to be somewhere on top so once i checked and i did not feel anything like a phone i was like well you can see me and i actually followed her i don't know what my what my mind was thinking i started following her mm. and this is the only time i was helped in nairobi because so, it caught the attention of people as i was saying well you can see me i mean when my son was busy doing a mama let us fight <laughs> I order for the bottle of fearless because I fear no more. <laughs> followed her and she like once she saw like uh it was getting she was getting attention from people and people are like starting to gather then I can even share, ah no i just picked it from there miss jaiba eh, people are like ah what you are going with june um people are like hey what you are going with june and i was like hey me brother my father see me also i took my phone and left and and then the the crowd just that was the only time i was saved but that was like my fifth experience the sixth one is my toddler throwing my phone off my balcony recently and then kumbusha has reminded me of all those times all those times but anyway it is what it is. Other scam stories are like in global <laughs> online games. I mean, they eh, I don't think there is anywhere I've not been scammed. I don't think so. Yeah, so that's all for today, and that's my fun experiences, my theft stories, and um. I would actually like to hear your 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 stories as well. Mm. So if you can, if you can, if you can, please share your experiences in the comment section. Anything I left surprised me. What has Nairobi theft done to you? What is the thief? 
the theft the theft the wheeze in Nairobi tell me any anything that I don't know about yet in the comment section yeah and thank you for staying with me thank you for listening um thank you for listening to me and thank you for staying till the end of the video uh, so yeah i'm actually trying to get to a thousand subscribers so if you made it here and you haven't subscribed please subscribe help a girl out let's get to a thousand subscribers like the video and uh yes Tell me, did you like my hair? Do you like my hair? Do you, I want my hair, but I want my, I want my, I want my. <laughs>